Hello. Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to the live stream with Brie and Flo. Sorry for the little delay. We are running on Ecuador time. Always <laughs> a little bit late, always in the now time. And uh, that's from where we are currently dialing in. Ecuador, we're currently at the coast of Ecuador near Montanita, where we also do our retreats, which we will talk about more later. Thanks guys for waiting and for uh, already getting the chat started. It's really nice to see. Uh, we saw already some people said, I'm only here for the baby. <laughs> so uh, that's okay. We also have some other topics to share with you. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a good time. Yeah. We will try to limit this to about 30 minutes. We don't want to do another 90 minutes to our live stream, although we would love to. We really like this format and also like it that there is some activity in the chat. But today we'll keep it a little bit different and limit it to 30 minutes. Yeah, so today's is going to be different that it's not an actual Q&A, which we have done in our previous live streams where you're typing in your questions and we're giving you answers. Today is, of course, we want to see what everyone's up to and all of the chat. It's amazing to, to watch and read, but this is also just a way for us to be efficient with us still sharing information because we've had so much going on in the past two months and a lot of amazing new things coming up in the next month. And we just don't have time to do a vlog for every separate topic. <laughs> yeah. So we figured we would just jump on live and give you some, some live updates with everything that's been going on. It's great but that everyone's commenting already where they're from. Give us maybe a quick thumbs up that the sound and video, everything's okay. Uh, there's still some problems with the YouTube live stream studio. I think it's really still not that good because you don't see if everything's working. So give us a thumbs up in the chat or something. Uh, or write something because some people said I have no sound and I'm gonna check if that's only on your side or if it's uh, on our side. And we'll just uh, keep going. Yes. Assuming that you can hear us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we will do, uh, we have a Q&A planned in three Thanks. days on Patreon. So if you are interested in Q&A, if you have some questions about anything that we're doing or have stuff going on, then please join us on Patreon in a few days and we'll do a Q&A there. Also that the, the community there is a lot smaller, so the chance of your question getting answered is pretty high. <laughs> yes, so today actually we will not take um, any questions, maybe some, I don't know, maybe some in the end if, if you're really short on time or if we are good on time and we have some time, maybe we take some questions, but today is not so much of a Q&A. Uh, or satsang as we like to call it uh, this is more to give you some updates so if you have questions again excuse me join us on patreon yeah. we on patreon go live every single month and so if you have questions since this since the community is smaller it's almost guaranteed that we will answer your question so or questions and you can bombard us with questions there this is why we set this up so uh, not to put in a plug here, but if you're interested in questions and you have a lot of questions for us that you want us to directly answer, then that's the format on the Patreon live streams every month. So every month you have the opportunity. Yes. Why not use it? <laughs> yeah, so let's jump in. Thank you for all of those thumbs ups. Thumbs ups. Now we know the audio is working and everything is working and we're good to go. So we're still new to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, thanks guys. And yeah. uh, also if you're watching the recording of this, then we will put in the chapter markers of all the topics into the live, into the description. So you can use the, the chapters at the bottom of the player and then it pops up on your right side, at least on desktop and you can check it out. Also read the description where we will put some links of things that we will mention in the session today. Yep. Vamos, let's get started. Let's do it. So first thing is yoga retreats. <laughs> so we've already done a few of them this year, which have all been really amazing, different areas around the world and different communities. And it's just been so fulfilling for us. Teaching live is our number one favorite thing to do. So yeah, we are excited. We had one just two weeks ago here in Ecuador and our next one is coming up in eight days. 
So right after the holidays and that retreat will go over New Year's. So that one will also be amazing. We have been booked out for that one for a while, almost a year. So that one unfortunately is sold out, but we are guest teaching at um, IU Medicina, who is the organization that runs all of the plant medicine aspect of our yoga retreats here in Ecuador. And they are such an amazing group of humans doing some really powerful, beautiful work. So they teach retreats every month, basically from January to June. And we will be guest teaching the yoga portion for their January retreat and potentially also their April, but we're not totally sure on that one yet. We'll still decide. We will also decide the details on the schedule and what we will teach. Of course, the yoga portion, but then we will see if we also teach some workshops, some lectures, lec ice. lectures, some ice baths. Yeah. Uh, all that kind of stuff. So January and April are the ones where January yeah. for sure, April maybe. Yes. So we just had, uh, there were some recent restrictions in Ecuador starting December 1st. So given that, we had some openings for the retreat in January. Um, so as of yesterday, I think IU Medicina reopened some spots that are now available. And I saw two of them already booked up this morning. So there's still a handful of spots left for our guest teaching January retreat here in Ecuador. So if plant medicine is calling you and you want to come and practice with us, um, this will probably be our last retreat besides April-ish. Not sure yet. For, for the 2022. Yeah, yeah. Not forever. We will, of course, do this forever, but for 2022. For next year, yeah, where we don't plan on teaching any retreats in 2022 because of the baby and we're also opening our uh, yoga teacher training and I have some more information about that later but next year is already super packed so if you want to catch us at a retreat then head to the retreats page in the description below also and for the january one if you want to use our discount code which is one word all caps breathe and flow then you can get 111 dollars off your spot and then we would just see you in a few weeks here in ecuador how amazing would that be <laughs> We would love to see you. Yes. The, the last group was already really amazing. So the yeah. retreat we just taught end of November was just such a fantastic group. Really awesome. It really showed how much they all have put in the work in their practice over the months, over the years. Some of them have been practicing with us for many years and some are just very new to uh, practicing with us and maybe even new to yoga. So this question comes up a lot. Am I ready for a retreat with you guys? And I don't feel ready. I'm not flexible enough or something like this. So uh, let go of all of these limiting beliefs. You are ready for our retreat and our teacher training too. If you like our style, if you like uh, practicing with us, and if it's good if you're already familiar with our style of practice, because you know it's on the stronger side. We, you know we push you a lot. We push your comfort zone and even more in the retreats, not just with classes, but also with longer meditations, breath work, ice bath, with all the ceremonies, all this kind of stuff. So if you're ready for this challenge and if you're brave enough, brave enough to leave your comfort zone to grow, because we all know this is the place where you grow. If you're ready for that, then you are ready for our retreats and you don't have to be super strong or have to be able to touch your toes or do a handstand or so. No one cares about that stuff. We teach yoga, not poses and even more so in the retreat than what we can show here on YouTube or on any other platform online. Exactly. So the group was amazing. Some people are still here in Ecuador traveling around. I think almost everyone changed their flight and pushed it back a little bit. Yeah. And some are still traveling around all over Ecuador because it's a beautiful place and not many people know about it. It's completely underrated. But once you're here, you start to appreciate it more and there's so much here to learn it's so welcoming and so much beautiful nature and, and culture yeah. so no surprise everyone almost everyone stayed longer yes a few of them dropped into the amazon for a few days <laughs> and uh, yeah it sounded like they had an incredible adventure there so if you are interested in learning more about ecuador or our adventure there we did just put together i think it's only a two minute recap of our adventure when we came earlier this year so if you want to head to our main page on our channel and just type in ecuador then <laughs> you'll also find that two middle two minute video 
which is a pretty fun little recap of the country and our experience and why we love it here so much. Yeah. So that's it for retreats. That's our update is that January is basically our last one for 2022 and that you can use our discount code if you would like to snag a spot. So should we stock and pull? Uh, okay, yeah. So there's time. Okay, but All then right. I also want to show them the, the doc then so that they have um, a better idea of their vote. Okay, yeah. I okay. think we should start so the we, poll early so okay. that there's time. So we have something fun planned that we were going to kind of do at the end. But we'll get it started now because we're really excited about it. <laughs> and that is to reveal the gender of the baby. So um, before we do that, we're going to actually put a poll here in the live stream so that you can vote on the gender. And um, before we let you vote, we want to give you maybe some, what do you even call it? I don't know. It's like old wives tales. It's like, is the baby carrying hi? It's a boy. And if you like salty food, it's a boy. And if you have bigger feet, it's a girl and these things, which actually none of it is scientifically proven. It's all just kind of bullshit, but it's kind of fun to play along with it. So put together this chart so that you can maybe make a more informed decision of what the gender is. And then uh, at the end, um, then we'll let you guys, um, yeah, see what the gender is and we will show you. No idea what, uh, what she planned, but I will take care of the poll. <laughs> also the first time that we're doing a poll. So let me uh, create it real quick. We'll see if this works. Like this. Maybe no question mark. Okay. Like this. Yep. Okay. That works. All right. And then let's also see if this works. I don't know if this is going to work on the screen or not, or if it's going to be flipped in reverse, but, um, Should I post it? <laughs> yeah, I think you're good. But don't vote yet. As we said, we're on YouTube live streaming. <laughs> uh, it's the first poll, so I have to we're make sure it's fine. Brand new to YouTube. I hope you're having a good Sunday and you have some time to hang out with us as we figure this all out. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Should I post it? Yeah, okay. Go yeah. for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see if this if this will work. I don't know. Um. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the screen. I think you can. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, a little bit higher. Yes. Ah, okay. So what should I do with it? Um, so this is just some information that might help you make a more informed decision. Not sure if it will or not because it's kind of even, but gray is means that it would be a boy and this red coral color is for a girl. So we kind of wanted to do away with the red or uh, with the pink and blue typical girl and boy and instead do gray and coral. So maybe read this over for a second so you can. Um, so these are these like, why, what is it? Wife tales? Or yeah, it's like old wives tales. So they say if you have morning sickness, then it's likely a girl. If you don't have it, then it's likely a boy. So this is what we followed here. It's about 12 or something of those. And yeah, you can take a look. Morning sickness, no. Cravings, salty. Carrying baby, high. Foot size, same. Emotions, chill. Temperature, cold. Headaches, no. Flows, weight, same. Oh yeah, I didn't know that's a thing. <laughs> Cold feet, no. Skin, clear. Baby's heart rate above 140. Balance, stable. Sleeping side, left. Wider nose, no. Belly shape, round. So it seems about 50-50 based on what you yeah. did there. So it's really not helpful. But <laughs> <laughs> That's why we did it. 
but I had fun putting it together. And a lot of people ask these questions when we make them try to guess. They're like, well, do you have headaches and what's your temperature? And are you clumsy and are you so, moody? And yeah, I don't know. Now there also the, there's the poll on the right side in the chat. So you can scroll up, I think, and you can uh, uh, <laughs> give, your give, give your vote. And we will, of course, reveal the gender towards the end. This is the whole yes. thing of the video. And then I'll show you the bump too, because maybe that'll help you make a more informed decision. Yes, Jenny, I'm also surprised about the question about my weight, but it's the same, <laughs> uh, all the same. But I know, I know that this is a thing. A lot of my friends that have babies already, their their weight changed a lot. I don't know if, if they can see. I'll come out so it doesn't focus on my face. Okay, this is what it looks like. A little watermelon. And now we're at almost 30 weeks, 30 weeks tomorrow. So there you have it. That is all the information we can provide at this moment. Beautiful so, bump. <laughs> so now you can take your time. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Deciding what your vote is and then we'll reveal it at the end. Because I love games and <laughs> you have to play with me. <laughs> okay, cool. So so Can far, I will give some all... updates throughout. So right now, it's fifty-two percent voting for boy, and forty-seven no fifty-three for boy and forty-seven for girl. So keep voting, guys. We'll see where we're at in the next twenty minutes. Yes. <laughs> Great. Let's continue in the agenda. Yeah. <laughs> so next up is our. New Year's program. So at least for the last, was it two years? Three years? Yeah, since starting two the years. channel almost. Yeah. So almost, this will be yeah. our third annual New Year's program that we will be releasing on our YouTube channel. As you know, it's good manners on as a yoga YouTube channel and also fitness and well-being to do some kind of New Year's program. Everyone does it. And I think it's mostly because a lot of people have New Year's resolutions that they bring mm -hmm. into the new year. And usually they are around health and well-being and, and physical and mental health something like this and building a routine and yeah. starting your new year with taking control better habits taking control over your life so exactly right up our alley and uh, i think all channels on youtube experience a drop in traffic because people are busy with other stuff uh, except all the channels that are focusing on these topics health well-being productivity habits, things like this, because a lot of people are motivated. And so, of course, we are also putting out a new New Year's program for the upcoming 2022. So the whole month of January, we filmed it last month in Quito in Ecuador. And currently it's in the process of editing and preparing everything so that we can launch on time uh, on January 1st. Yeah. So we don't want to give away too much information because on I think December 30th, yes. we will be releasing a video which will explain everything in a lot more detail. But we do want to drop the hint that this program will be very different from our past two years and very different from yoga programs that you see from most other yoga channels on YouTube. So it will... Um, surprisingly not be a movement, a breath work, nor a meditation format of a yoga program. So it'll be very really unique and something that we're super excited about. We actually talked about releasing this program last year or even before that and we just couldn't, uh, couldn't get it together because it's actually a lot to think through and design the program in yeah. a way that makes sense. So. It will be very unique and it will be very impactful. It will be, we would say, life changing uh, for you. And it's going to be here on YouTube for yeah. free. For free. Yes. Once again, for free. Yep. And this is only mm -hmm. possible because of our Patreon supporters, yeah. as, as you guys know. Yeah. And Patreon also helped us out a lot with this program because yeah. we actually announced already on Patreon what the program is. So if you are really curious, you can join us on Patreon. You can find out what the New Year's program is already. <laughs> and if you're a Patreon supporter, please don't spill the beans and write in the description what our program is. This is just for our Patreon supporters only. But from uh, Patreon, we actually posted it and um, put in the description an announcement of what the program is. And then we had everybody submit their 
suggestions for what they want to name the program. So we've also did this with another program which is called Pulse and our Patreon supporters helped us name that program as well. And expand. And expand, really? Yeah. Oh. I think so. The meditation program also was named by the You're right. By the patrons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 10 day meditation program, expand, also yeah. uh, got named by the patrons. So they always know it ahead of time what's happening. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Nice. So thank you. Patreon supporters because I think we've I just checked this morning and there's been over 150 suggestions for naming this program which is super exciting and it will be hard to go through the whole list and <laughs> to decide what to actually name it because there's a ton of, of really great suggestions in there yeah so um, yeah anyways you will learn more about the New Year's program on December 30th we will post it here on the channel and we will also be in our retreat, teaching our yoga retreat at that time. So we will have the, the auto posting for the daily videos that are going to be released um, every day starting January 1st. So we're really excited for that and we hope that you're also excited and will join us on the journey with our 30 days uh, this, this next year. And it's, it is in fact a 30 day full program. So every single day for 30 days, new video. It's a unique video. Unique, too. new, unique, yep, and new practice will yep. be will be great. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned, just 10 more days, and then we can find out what it is and start practicing. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Um, next is sportswear or BJJ. Yeah. So uh, I launched this morning, actually, if you were on the channel already, I saw some of you did already some classes before this live stream. Thanks so much for doing that, for practicing with us and for um, putting yourself first and taking time for yourself. And there was a video at around 10 a.m. our time, so about 90 minutes or so ago, I announced a new program and it's a full new program and it is yoga for BJJ yoga for Jiu Jitsu, a full program you can access and and get. It's not going to be the full program here on YouTube. You have to go to a different platform to get it, but there will be one or two videos that I will drop here on YouTube for free that you can check out from the program. From yeah. the program, yes, to get like a, an idea of what it is. All the classes, so it's uh, seven, cl seven classes and all the videos are about one hour long. And I'm not sharing any BJJ or Jiu Jitsu or martial art techniques there. It's mostly focused on functional movement and helping you move better in a, a general way so that you can apply this, this improved and general movement ability to your specific training that you do. And that means it's not only good for Jiu Jitsu or uh, for any other martial art, it can, in my opinion, also be used for really any other kind of sport or training that you do because it's so, gener so generic and focusing so much on just moving better in a functional way that it will help you with your specific training, whatever it is, if you play tennis, golf, uh, cycling, running, whatever it is, it will work for that too. It will make you a better mover and will make you better in your specific sport. So you can check that out. We will also link it down in this video. We also have a separate video on the channel you can check out. And um, we will do. We're doing there a lot of lots of movements, um, functional right. functional movement, breath work, uh, meditations, animal flow. So a lot of really fun stuff to make it really nicely well rounded. And I'm super excited for this launch. We filmed this uh, a couple months ago. It was a ton of work to film this, uh, and so much planning to, for this program, and an insane amount of editing. It was very extreme, but finally. It's out and it's there and it's going to be out for a long time. And uh, if you're interested, check it out, I think. And I hope and my intention is that it helps you move better on the mat and in your sport and also helps you better, helps you to move better through life as well. Yeah. And if you enjoy the program too, then you, sh you, sh you can and should consider sharing it with your Jiu Jitsu Academy and talking to the owner of your Jiu-Jitsu gym because if we can get this program out to entire academies and have everybody in the school actually doing this program then that would also be amazing and the improvement and also um, reducing the risk of injury and just moving safer moving better in your body and breathing with more control and more mindfulness 
is just going to improve the game of everybody. So if you are interested in having it at your gym or your academy or introducing it to multiple people outside of your household, then we also have a separate price listed on the program that is specific for the academy or for the, the studio or the yoga gym or whatever you're doing to share it with multiple people. So. The program is also not on Patreon, so some people already asked in the chat, it's not going to be on Patreon, it's going to be on a separate platform because you're noticing don't put all the eggs in one basket. So we want to also diversify a little bit and also reduce the risk if something happens with one platform, you know, then we still have other ones. So this is a new platform and uh, you can get the program there. It's not for free, you have to buy the program, but we will put one or two classes from that program for free here on YouTube so you get an idea but still to access the full one for as long as this platform exists uh, you can lifetime. check it out there. Lifetime access. If the platform is there for a lifetime then yes it's lifetime if not then of course not. Yeah. So check it out uh, let, let me know yeah. how, how it works I hope you enjoy it it was a lot of work for me and also is a big step for me to come true because there's no program like this I have not seen any program like that there's a lot of BJJ programs you can buy or get for free or whatever of people sharing Jiu Jitsu techniques But there's already people out there that do this way better than me So I want to focus on what I can do really well and this is to Implement yoga and functional movement in your practice so you can be better on the mat because this is I think a, a one thing that's overlooked a lot and what helped me a lot with my Jiu Jitsu and also to stay injury free and even if this program just helps you to stay out of any injury or to heal any injury, this is already amazing. So, thanks for listening to this uh, long explanation of the program. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love it if you check it out. And again, all the information is in the description below. Mm -hmm. So the poll currently is now switched. Uh, we have 51% voting for girl and 49% voted for boy. So, Ooh. it's uh, exciting. We have currently over 200 votes. Thank you for putting your vote. <laughs> Fun. And also regarding BJJ, we can yeah. go to the next topic. <clears throat> we launched yesterday our new sportswear collection. This is a collaboration with Choke and Chill, a jiu-jitsu and martial arts brand from Germany. And we have uh, some new, our own collection with them. So we're very honored to, to work with them and to have our own line, our own collection. What we have there are rash guards, short sleeve, long sleeve uh, for for men, women, uh, men and women's line, and of course for whatever you identify with, it works for you as well. The colors are different, the cuts are a little bit different, so I'm sure there's something for you. And for men, there's also in the men's line at least um, shorts, and uh, for women, there's also sports bras and leggings. And this stuff is perfect for jiu jitsu perfect for any other martial arts, MMA or whatever you're training where you don't need a kimono and it's also not only great for that but you can also use it for rock climbing, for cycling, for hiking, for surfing it's really good if you don't want to get a sunburn and you go out surfing you wear a rash guard this is what the surfers do and so it's really good for other activities as well yeah. And we did also an announcement video of that yesterday and we also have the information in the description below so you can check it out. We did a very limited amount of products for this first launch. We just want to see how it goes and we know there's a lot of things to improve. So this is just the first, uh, the first launch in a very small quantity kind of to see how everything is everything's going. And we already have, we're already working on the next collection, the next um, yeah. like products round. Uh, next round yes with improvements so yeah. it is a process and we're also new to it and we're improving yeah yeah and this is ultimately provided because you guys have been asking for it yeah we again with our um, lifestyle clothing clothing line that we launched last month in november um, with that too yeah it's it's running and launching a merchandise and clothing is a very huge project and <laughs> There's a reason why uh, more yoga teachers do not do it because there's just so much work that goes into it behind the scenes and so many things with taxes and the websites and the FAQ and shipping and returns and um, by the time you even put out the, in the entire line then the amount of work that you put in is almost not even worth what you're getting back from it but this is really for you guys. 
um, yeah. this this merchandise that we're putting out. And we are also so honored that you are even willing to represent uh, Breathe and Flow and to have a logo with our uh, on your beanie or something on a hoodie that has our brand on it. It's just amazing. It's something that we never really thought would be possible and that people would even be excited about purchasing. So um, with all of that being said, we um, have a ton of improvements that we would like to do and down the road also in our FAQ on our lifestyle merchandise website, uh, we did drop the notice and announcement that we do plan on opening our own production company someday um, yeah. in the next five years or so. And from there, we'll be manufacturing and running all of our own merchandise out of those warehouses. So we can really be um, more control over everything. Yeah, in tune with the products and the materials and the shipping and everything will be directly from us. So we are super excited for that as well. But that is still several years down the road. <laughs> and that's also only possible because of the yeah. patrons. So, yes. Uh, all of the all of the contributions from Patreon are actually going almost 100% back into the business. Yeah. We, uh, we, we, get, we pay for the equipment, for new equipment to improve the quality, for new continued education for us, new trainings that we take so we can share better content, more knowledge with you yeah. online and also in person. And it also goes to the employees that we, that we have that help us out now to run this, this business now. It's way beyond just the two of us now. That was a big change this year and so a lot of the contributions from Patreon go also to, to them. And it will also go to the clothing line, we're launching the whole production, renting a space, getting all the machines and having someone that knows about the materials and sourcing it and shipping and all this, you can imagine, massive business. And also a lot of it will go to our big goal, which is having a yoga retreat center. And that will be in the next five or ten years or something. And all of these goals are no, no secrets. If you go on Patreon, we have milestones with all these goals described. And so you know exactly what the contribution is used for. So it's not just going into our pockets so we can live a good life and I don't know, whatever, you, whatever, whatever you think we're doing yeah. with it. So it almost goes 100% back into everything in the business to grow. Yeah, to keep improving and keep yeah. polishing and bringing you guys the best quality content and the best resources that you can have to continue to heal and grow in this in this lifetime. Yeah. So again, everything in the description below, check it out to the BJJ program and also the yoga or the sportswear line. Mm -hmm. Next in the agenda. Next. Well, let's check on the poll. Oh, it's now changing a lot. So girl, Ooh. 55% and boy, 45%. All, All right. right. Thank you for the vote. <laughs> if you haven't voted yet, then please submit your vote. It's coming soon, where we will announce. And thanks so much for all the love in the chat, yeah. uh, for sharing where you're from and practice and um, that you want to represent us and for all the love and the support. Yes. Uh, we're not going into uh, questions or anything now that were posted in the chat as you mentioned earlier because we have a live stream on Patreon coming up in just two days I think and that's the time where we will actually almost 100% respond to your question like almost guaranteed yes actually it's in three days it's three because days. it okay. would be our anniversary our wedding anniversary really? is on the 22nd so we'll be celebrating our love with you on a live stream <laughs> <laughs> on patreon not that kind of live stream that's that's a different platform <laughs> <laughs> that's <Okay>. only fans <laughs> okay. <Shh>. okay um <laughs> anyways um <laughs> so we don't have only fans no. so many people ask but no we don't have it spotify so sharing okay. music um we have now all i think over 60 playlists on our spotify channel which is really amazing we've been kind of building playlists for the last couple of years and we are excited to announce that i just finished putting together well a playlist is never really finished technically but it's ready to announce and be public but we uh, just put together a playlist for our new year's eve party that we're having here in ecuador during the retreat and the playlist is called Conscious Dance Therapy. So uh, that should be a fun one for you to 
throw on and get get your groove going and yeah dance or clean house or play with your kids or do some animal flow outside or some yoga classes like it's it's a fun uh upbeat playlist which we're going to be using for our new year's eve celebration so yeah um, yeah so if you're looking for some for some good beats for for your new year's party then you can throw on that playlist and know that across the world in south america we are listening to the same playlist so you can join us for for new year's in music at least and uh, it's gonna be uh, the new year's new year's is going is sorry the retreat is going over new year's so yeah. we will uh, have the new year's celebration with all the retreat attendees super excited to spend this this special time uh, with them to yeah. Uh, enter the new year at least um, for our calendar as we are counting yeah <laughs> and um, the playlist kind of evolved over the years we started use, doing playlists because we were teaching live classes studio classes like five six or so years ago or more even and uh, we kind of started building more and more and then made it also public and so now it's all pretty polished DJ Bree is taking care of all the playlists and every month she's putting out the yes, playlist yes. of the month. So there's uh, also one playlist that you can check out and follow on Spotify. Of course, all for free, but you might need the Spotify membership, I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, you can join no, us. No, you don't, but you have to listen to ads, oh, okay. I think. So you can join us there. There's a lot of music that you uh, can use for the classes and for the videos too. And also the, the, this music we will use for our all our in-person events, workshops and retreats. Yeah. And this is also a reason why we will not add any music to our videos because we think it is uh, just better to be in silence and then you can pick the music yourself that you want to listen to. It's a little bit higher. So these are all the playlists that we currently have. These are some... So this is the new one. <laughs> the new one, yeah. Conscious Dance Therapy. But then we have a lot of other ones. Yin, Yang, Shavasana. Breathwork meditation. These are just some like playlists that you can just Coffee. listen to also while road tripping or while yeah in the morning. And then we have about 60 or so of, uh, playlists specific for classes, which she will show now as well. Yeah, 56. Now we are at. I don't know if it'll zoom. Nope. So lots of playlists, lots yeah. of music. <laughs> And I added some little moon uh, emojis so that it's easier for you to quickly at a glance find the playlist that you really dig. Um, Great. And then we have, so the yoga playlist of the month also is a playlist that we um, release a new, yeah, new 60 minute playlist every month. So that is there. And then um, a lot of these playlists really wouldn't be possible or wouldn't be nearly as good if we did not have the contribution from some incredible artists from all over the world that send us their music. So thank you so much for submitting your music to us and for sharing your magic with the world. Music is such a powerful way to heal and connect and to shift energy in the body. And we're always really grateful when musicians share their music with us so that we can add it into our playlist and we're we're honored that we can actually have a space to to show what some mu uh, musicians are working on so last month it, it ended up getting to be quite overwhelming getting a lot of random emails from people or dms on instagram and like coming in all directions of this this is my playlist and this is my song and it's just too much to track so i put together now a google form that you will submit the url of your song directly into that form and then at the end of every month, I will go into the form and I look at the spreadsheet and I see the full list of 50 songs. And then from there, I can click through and and select songs that I think would be in alignment with any of these playlists that we have. So the link to that form where you can submit your music or just a song that you enjoy. You don't even have to be the musician. You can just submit any song is listed on the FAQ page of our website. And I'll also put it um, here in the description below. So you have the direct link to that music submission form and then maybe your song will be featured on our upcoming playlist. So. Hmm. Great. Yep. So that's uh, also... Anything else? Mm -mm. Okay. I just had a fly in my face. Oh yeah. <laughs> some flies and some mosquitoes. It's normal. <laughs> okay, so next topic is baby birth plan. Baby birth plan. Yeah, so maybe you've already pieced 
together the location of where we are having the baby because we kind of already mentioned that we might be teaching the Ecuador retreat in April. So I might have given it away earlier, but yes, the plan now is to have the baby here in Ecuador, which we are super excited about and super grateful that we are able to give birth here. It's one of our favorite countries on earth and we have such a beautiful community of humans here in this country and especially in the area that we're in, in Montanita. Uh, so yeah, we're just really honored that we can have the baby here and bring it into such a lovely community and space. So we uh, were going back and forth about what city to actually have the baby in because in Ecuador, what's amazing about it is that it has done dozens probably of different ecosystems in the country. Um, but yeah, you only have to drive one hour and then you're from the beach or you're in the mountains or you're in the jungle or you're up in the Andes and it's cold and freezing or you're down at the coast and it's hot and humid and beach lifestyle. So there's a lot of different locations that and options that we had with where we wanted to give birth and you're giving birth. I'm not doing anything. I know I need to stop saying we it's all me. It's all her um, not doing anything. I just try to help. <laughs> You, Try you. to keep her relaxed, but <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, so. you do. Thank you. You're super helpful. She's in you, you so need many to ways. take the credit. You're, you're doing the birth. Thank you. Thank you. So, I will be giving birth in a city called Cuenca, which is in the Andes Mountains, and it's quite a bit cooler than it is here on the coast. We really did want to stay on the coast and be by the beach and have a baby by the beach and wake up and see the ocean and. That would have been amazing, but honestly, the humidity and the heat just does not sound appealing to me to give birth when it's like really hot out. <laughs> yeah. So as much as I love summer and I love the heat during labor, it does not sound appealing. So we are gonna head into the mountains and have the baby there in the Andes Mountains. And the uh, only sort of downfall that we have with with having it in Cuenca is that it is in the Andes Mountains and the elevation is quite high. So uh, it's about 7,000 feet or so, seven or 8,000 feet up. So we are gonna be arriving in the city three weeks before our due date. So we're gonna wrap up our January retreat, which ends January 29th. And then early February, the first week of February, we're gonna basically just take a taxi and hope that we don't hope that I don't give birth in the taxi on the way to Cuenca. Of course not. <laughs> and, and then, uh, yeah. And then we have two to three weeks in Cuenca to uh, acclimate to the altitude so that I can breathe a little bit more normally during labor and not be super out of breath. Yeah. So that's the plan. We also have, um, an incredible midwife, there in Cuenca, who's also an OBGYN, and she runs her own birthing clinic. So she will be at the birth with us, and uh, we are planning on doing a home birth. So since you're probably aware we travel full time, we actually do not have a home, and we haven't for the last two years. And so uh, this will actually be an Airbnb birth, <laughs> a home birth, but it's an Airbnb. And the Airbnb owners were actually very stoked about it. Yeah. They're like, oh, that's amazing. We actually have had already <laughs> another couple do the same a couple of months ago, and we have two more two more couples yeah. booked for next year that also do the same. And it's yeah. amazing. So, so good, good vibes, everything aligned. Yeah. Um, everything actually, when we came up with this thought and that we want to do it, and this feeling, okay, let's do it there, and then everything fell into place smoothly. So the universe is on our side. Mm -hmm. We feel very supported, and we know it's the, the right step. Yeah, it's gonna be a yeah new chapter for us too. So some maybe you can talk about a little bit how you're feeling with the pregnancy now that you're seven months almost in. How yeah. you're doing and how everything's yeah how you're feeling and how everything's going. I think it's interesting for a lot of people to hear because we actually have not posted much about the birth, especially no videos or the baby mm -hmm. videos here on YouTube. So we use this opportunity now to yeah uh, get some insights from Brie. <laughs> thank you. Got the mic. <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah, overall, I have been feeling amazing. Really, really good, really grounded and really calm about everything. I mean, I definitely have my waves of being nervous about the birth and just about being a digital nomad and not 
having this like full nesting period or full nesting stage um, which is just natural to kind of crave when you're getting close to having a baby so for me the nerves have kind of been like up and down a little bit but um, yeah recently in the last month the nerves just like really went away and I feel very confident and very calm about the entire situation and I'm actually now just no longer nervous I'm just really excited I'm excited for this rite of passage into motherhood and to experience birth it's such an incredible thing and such a beautiful thing that I can witness in my own body as a woman to be able to grow another human it's still so strange to us and to feel the baby kick and everything is uh, just so powerful and so yeah beautiful to witness so fortunately I haven't had any um, pregnancy symptoms like negative I haven't really I threw up a couple times week like 12 13 and got nauseous a few times in a car ride but besides that oh and I also gag when I brush my teeth so it's just kind of gross and I feel like I have to hide it from Flo so I don't like gross him out when I'm brushing teeth and gagging um, but that's really the only symptom, I think, is like the brushing teeth thing. And then for a couple of months, I was waking up consistently every night between 2 and 3 a.m. And then I would just stay awake for that hour. Uh, so that was kind of annoying because I'm really into sleep and good quality sleep. And so that was more just like, oh, come on. But all in all, comparatively to what a lot of women go through um, during a pregnancy, mine has been super smooth. So. Thank you, baby, for making it so easy on me <laughs> and making this whole experience uh, just so beautiful for both of us. It's just been so awesome to witness and to learn so much about it, too. Flo's been reading a lot of, like, baby parenting books, and I have, too, and we've been yeah. listening to a few different audiobooks. A lot of and conscious parenting books, so yeah. we can uh, do a good job yes. with, the, with, the, with the baby. Yeah, and uh, in the past two months I've also taken so I finished my 100 hour prenatal yoga teacher training so now I'm a certified prenatal yoga teacher which is a separate certification from your just regular 200 hour um, teacher training so I did have prenatal training in the past but it was only a 20 hour program so this one was an 85 hour actually uh, prenatal program so I finished my certification in that and um, I'll be designing and releasing a full prenatal yoga, um, prenatal yoga program on the next baby or the next one or some day down the road. But for now, I just wanted to get my training in so that I can also move better in my body during this pregnancy. So I did that. And then with, along with that certification, I also became a certified doula. So I learned about all things birth. Um, so that was really nice and super informative. I learned a lot more than I was anticipating and then I've also taken an active birth uh, class and I just finished um, a three-week course on hypnobirthing so yeah Flo also joined me for that one as well and that was very eye-opening and brought me a lot of comfort into the situation of having a meditative and even orgasmic and pain-free labor as crazy as that sounds it is possible so that whole program was yeah very helpful for me to just like calm down and chill out and to realize and remember that my body is designed to give birth and also that the baby knows how to be born mm -hmm. so having that deep understanding that this is completely natural that birth is natural and that it's been done for hundreds of thousands of years and my situation is not anything totally unique uh, there's nothing to be scared about so I yeah I'm really happy that I was able to take all of these programs and fortunately that they are all offered online so I could just do these classes online um, from random Airbnbs and places that we've been traveling so I think a combination of the birthing classes the prenatal yoga teaching the doula certification and then the books that we've been reading and YouTube videos we've been watching I think we're more more than prepared. I feel really more than a little bit more confident. I think you cannot prepare yeah. fully for it. Yeah, true. Completely new, but we feel a bit more prepared. Yeah. yeah. And we also want to do our best with it. And of course, there will be mistakes, but we want to go in like informed. 
Yeah. And also knowing that there are so many different parenting styles and uh, things that you do and what you tell your kid and it, it, it has so much effect and so there's so many different approaches that are very interesting. Mm -hmm. And we are very excited to learn. It's very eye-opening for us as yeah. well to yeah to go into this new chapter it's going to be fantastic yeah and so the last uh, months have have been extremely busy our goal is to prepare a lot and to work ahead a lot so that we can really slow down around the time of the birth focus on that and then afterwards when the when the baby is there then to also just focus uh, on spending time with the baby and not having to film so much again or to keep up with, with posting or with our business in general so we're now working ahead a lot and we have uh, content already ahead now until like April or something already filmed and prepared filmed and edited uploaded everything until April so even past the baby when the baby is already there and we'll continue to film we filmed a whole day yesterday for Patreon for the next few months and then we're gonna continue filming next week for the retreat before the retreat so we can get maybe into like June or uh, May or June or something like this. So mid mid next year, and of course we'll keep creating more. But we want to keep we want to do it easy. We've been working insanely hard since it's also the first two years of doing this business full time, and of course we want to push it and get lots of momentum. And uh, we set everything up now so that when the baby is there, we can just keep them keep them keep the momentum going, and we're not focusing so much anymore on crazy growth also for the next year we'll just keep the momentum going everything will still grow people will still practice more people will practice people will come to uh, come to their mat and uh, with all the offerings we have already on the channel there's over over 400 videos now already there so how many more vinyasa classes do you need on the on the channel yeah. this is why we're also shifting a little bit directions next year with the new year's program will be a bit different and also more vlogs and more behind the scenes stuff yeah. So all in all, exciting things, We're currently wrapping up this year, year end is always busy and then starting a new year should be uh, a little bit different. Yeah, <laughs> well maybe not starting the new year, but... When the baby's there. When the baby's there, yes. Good. Yeah. So yeah, that's our birth plan and we are super excited about all of it. And yeah, just feeling good. Yeah. It'll, it'll all be great. Be great. As it, uh, <laughs> it will come as it's meant to be. Yeah. So it's all good. Yes. And Thank you for all of the love and the comments and yeah. the offers for babysitting. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for all the you support. You guys are also, we feel so loved and so supported. It's just amazing to um, yeah have this community. It's been such a blessing. Yeah. So we're excited to welcome welcome this baby into the community and yeah have have one more wolf in our wolf pack. Yeah. <laughs> So we said we're gonna limit it to 30 minutes. We're already now at one hour, so a little bit longer than planned, but lots of topics to cover and uh, it's okay. So now. now the next topic is um, the gender reveal. Looking at the poll now, we have girl 57% and boy 43%. So the last Ooh. chance now to give your vote in the poll on the right side of the screen at least on desktop give your vote and we will reveal it very soon now yes now <laughs> uh, oh yeah ytt so teacher training is a good good topic from grace we, thank you for the reminder we have a teacher training planned our first one 200 hours uh, breathing flow yoga which will be vinyasa uh, based next year in q4 sometime in october or november we are still figuring out the dates and we will announce it about six months in advance you know already roughly when it's gonna be and it's gonna it's um we will figure out where it's going to be we don't know yet and uh, we will announce everything around march march april or something like this yeah, <laughs> yeah. but we are planning on doing a teacher training and uh, thanks for being interested. More information is coming yeah. and you also have more information on our website if you go to breedandflow.org slash YTT. We also have it in the description of every single video, so check it out. You can subscribe to our newsletter where we will keep you up to date with information about teacher training. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, people are commenting, boy, on the side, don't do that. Just put it up in the in the poll. So <laughs> don't don't just comment, boy or girl, on the side. Just put it into the into the poll, so we have uh, all the numbers nicely organized. Yes. And um, uh, someone said, come to California. We lived there for about ten years, and we have no plans to coming back anytime soon, but just to visit, yeah. of course. <laughs> we will do. Come to us instead. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so someone asked, do we have to be advanced to do teacher training? So this is what we covered in the beginning of the live stream, uh, that you have to be advanced in terms of willpower and the practice in words. You don't have to be any anywhere with flexibility or so. You have to be familiar with our style. You have to yeah. be open to learn, to be open to push yourself because you definitely will be pushed so that you can grow. And if you have those qualities, then you're ready. ready ready and welcome to come. Yeah, a good sign for knowing when you're ready to do a teacher training is if you've been practicing a movement asana yoga practice for at least one year and you've also been doing a daily meditation for at least a few months. So that's a good indicator if you uh, have been doing both of those things for that amount of time, yeah. then uh, then it's a good, good time for you and that you will be ready and prepared to do a teacher training just so more so so that you're not like dropping into our teacher training and then all of a sudden you're like oh my gosh I have to practice yoga every day and I have to meditate every day this is too much for me so this should already be part of your practice before you jump in and join our training yeah. and we also get the question a lot if we're going to be offering an online training or if it's only going to be in person and for us, at least for the next few years, our trainings will only be in person and they will only be an immersive training. So it'll be a full 30 days of yoga teacher training and it will be somewhere around the globe. We do have a few countries narrowed down and specific retreat centers that we want to teach at, but uh, given all the restrictions that are going on around the world, we just have to kind of hang tight for now and see how things shift and change and close and open uh, over the next few months. So. Um, yeah, more information, we will be announcing it on um, Patreon and Instagram and our newsletter and YouTube and everywhere, so... But there's already lots of information on the website, so yeah, again, exactly. check it out in the description, yeah. there's already a lot. Yeah, also includes pricing and uh, if, if you do want to do your, your teacher training earlier than Q4 of next year, then we also have some recommendations of other teachers that we admire and that we have practiced with. Yeah. Um, that are in alignment with our style and that we support and believe would also give you a really good foundation for um, for becoming a yoga teacher so if our school is not doesn't line up with your timing and all of that there's there's some other teachers there that we refer out so check it out on the website and uh, yeah learn more there so now we go to the gender reveal yes currently let's, do it. let's finish the poll so it's at 56 percent voting for girl 44% voting for boy. Huh. And we have about 350 votes, so the last chance now to put in your vote on the side. And then I will click end poll so I can close it. <laughs> and we'll do the reveal. Let's do it. Okay, so um, just like I had that old wives tale chart at the beginning of the live stream that kind of gave you some insights of whether you would think it would be a boy or a girl, we're going to be revealing a baby sized yoga mat for our gender reveal and the colors will be the same as the colors from that document that I showed. So in the document we had gray for a boy and we had this coral red kind of color for a girl. We didn't yeah. want to feed into this blue and pink kind of thing that everyone does because it's just a color it's not yeah. you know. You and get it. maybe our boy wants to wear pink and exactly. maybe our girl wants to wear blue so exactly. we don't like feeding into the whole like pink and blue thing so we're doing gray and coral <laughs> gray for a boy and coral for a girl let's do it end the poll end end it okay let's do this last chance <laughs> end the poll have to try not to Hopefully it stays up. I don't think it disappeared. Hmm. All right. Well, but it yeah. was it was about. Oh yeah, here's the result. So girl 55, 56, boy 44. That doesn't add up to 100, but it's okay. <laughs> what 56, 44? 55 yeah. and 44. Oh. 
But nice, nice, about, nice, about, nice double numbers. Yeah, we're so. all about duplicates, so it kind of makes sense that that's how it would go down. Okay, I have to be really careful to what not do I have to do? accidentally show it ahead of time. All right, so we're going to go like this. Hmm? <laughs> Let's do something like this, hmm. and then we can just hold on to... And hold on to the mat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we'll just let it like roll out. Okay, we're unrolling the mat. But let's make sure first that it's like in screen. It is? <laughs> okay, yeah. we have to wait for the live stream to actually catch up so we know. No, no, it will come. Okay. You'll see it. Drum roll. Wait. No, no, it's okay. Really? Are we zoomed out? Okay. Oh, okay. It works. Okay, so again, if the baby yoga mat is gray, it's a boy, and if it's coral, it's a girl. So, yeah, ready? Yeah. Maybe we lift it up high and then just let the bottom one drop. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boy! <laughs> it's a beautiful, strong boy. Yes. And here's his first yoga mat. <laughs> so he can practice from day one. <laughs> We think it, we think that we'll uh, try to get a shot of him at the beginning doing happy baby because that's just what babies do, obviously. So we'll get a shot of the baby boy on this mat doing uh, doing happy baby and probably many other poses over the years. We will be posting a lot about him. Yeah. Great. So his first mat and it's a boy. Yes. And, and he we're... is healthy and strong and we did yeah. all the, the checkups and everything just recently, just this week. And everything is yeah, perfect. right on track. Right on track. But the, uh, the doctor at the ultrasound a couple days ago, she said, hmm, yeah, he's a very, very healthy big boy. And then she started laughing and we're both like, okay. And she's like, yeah, he's, he's pretty big. So apparently he's a big boy, um, but we're both tall people and we're big people, and uh, he's perfect as it he will is. be. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'll be good. Um, yeah, it'll be good. But we had a good laugh about that because the entire appointment was in Spanish. So with our very broken Spanglish, we had a very uh, fun time at the doctor's office, <laughs> um, getting the update about everything. But yes, we got a hundred percent confirmation that it is a boy, which is really exciting and especially just exciting to know one way yeah. or the other because at the beginning if you saw our baby announcement video we uh, were initially told that it was a girl and so we thought it was a girl for at least a month or so and that's when we surprised all of our all of our family with the uh, baby drindle the little traditional german dress i don't know if you saw that in the video but so we surprised our whole family with the, this little dress in all of the video calls and all of the, yeah, all the family stuff. And then we had an ultrasound like three weeks later and, you know, you start to connect with it energetically thinking that it's one gender and then we show up with this ultrasound and it was so funny because the doctor was like, um, he's like, yeah, do you, do you want to know the gender? And we're both like, no, no, we, we know already it's all good. So he continues on with the ultrasound and then at one point he was just like, yeah, it's gonna be a very, very healthy baby boy. We were both like, boy. What? What, what do you mean, boy? <laughs> yeah, we're like, uh, can you just back up that sentence a little bit? Because that's not what we thought. And then uh, it was in Germany, so <laughs> as we said, we have to go to the doctor wherever we are. Yeah. Floating around, and this one was in Germany, and then as I'm from Germany and I speak German, then and it was all in English, so I was like, okay, maybe it's it's his his english or something so I asked, we asked a couple more times are you sure it's it's a, it's a boy and uh, and he said yes yes it's boy and stuff like this but he kind of brushed it off and he just did went kind of fast with the with the checkup and so i asked him in german like are you sure it's a boy and he said he put the ultrasound away and he's like are you kidding me i've been doing this for like 20 <laughs> years so i can decide i can see if it's a boy or a girl <laughs> like yeah. typical german rudeness and i was like okay okay <laughs> Sorry for questioning your your skills. <laughs> yeah, and it was all in German, and I didn't know what they were saying. All of a but sudden, yeah. it got very uh, serious. So serious he was not happy about it, but he said, "Yeah, it's for sure uh, a boy." Yeah. And then we did another follow-up. I think two months later or one month, and she also said it's a boy. So at yeah. that point, then we had fifty-fifty. Like two doctors said girl, two doctors said boy. Yeah, even and though so, we were leaning towards boy. But of course, usually later, because later, yes, you yeah. can tell it more with more accuracy. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were also then connecting more to a boy yeah. and Brie uh, anyway from the beginning more to a boy. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's a boy yeah. and uh, his yoga mat is already ready for him to go practice <laughs> and we will roll out those three mats and yeah. we're very excited and very happy and thanks so much for all the support in the yes. in the chat and the congratulations and all the support and um, yeah. some people even uh, uh, flowing some tears so thank you so much yeah. it's so cute and very special and thank you we're so excited to share this with you and we will also continue um sharing when he's there with him in videos and stuff on the same channel so we'll just keep one channel and uh, share about family and uh yeah, yeah. all of it this next chapter. When, when he's there yeah, then the yeah. next chapter so yeah for sure yeah so we're very excited yes thank you so much for all of your blessings and all of your support and just the outpouring amount of love that we have received for this baby that's coming into the world we're so grateful to have all of you in our community and all of you supporting us and yeah all the comments and direct messages and emails and just all of it is just full of so much love and um, I cry <laughs> all the time reading all these comments and emails that we receive from you beautiful people that yeah. are sharing your hearts with us and supporting us on our journey so Thank you so much. This baby is already so loved and has so many blessings and we're just so excited to, to meet him in a few months. So Thank you very much for the support. Yeah. And now we can just address him as he. Yeah, and can finally boy. stop uh, trying to hide it. Always this whole live to, stream, I was like, to, don't say it on accident. Always have to be neutral with the baby. Now yeah. we can say he, oh boy. our boy. Yes. So I'm just stoked. <laughs> yeah. So, we're still thinking of names too yeah some people you. asked about names and as you as you as you can imagine we are very organized people we have a list of like 20 names for a uh, boy and a girl uh, so we're planning on having more babies and so the list not will, 20 but not 20 yeah but the <laughs> list will come in handy for future babies too if there's yeah. a girl then we have a whole list of girl names mm -hmm. And we we just now uh, narrowed it narrowed have narrowed it down to about four or so boy names, but we're also looking for some more. We have some specific requirements for the name <laughs> that have to be met. Yes. Um, one of them is that the name should the names all the names for all of our kids should be limited to four letters. Yeah. So uh, we have a list of twenty four letter names for boys and girls, and now we have it narrowed down, but we're also open for more and looking. A little bit more into more names that we have not yet considered yeah so we're still um, um, figuring it out but i think what we will do is when the baby is there and we will hold him then we will know what kind of name fits well and then probably decide one once he's there once uh, he has entered the world yeah exactly so that'll be fun but it, we also find that it's like a lot of pressure to name a human and have that be like <laughs> their identity and their name for their whole life it's Kind of a lot um yeah so we'll figure out the whole name thing um if you have four four letter boy name suggestions <laughs> feel free to drop them in the comments desmond, <laughs> desmond already dropped kid. one he said desmond needham would be a great one oh, <laughs> nice of course desmond but uh, it's not four letters so <laughs> desm desm maybe desm yeah 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 so and if we you, also, if you, we if also if don't plan on having a middle name for the kid, which is very common in many parts of the world. But yeah. uh, in, in America, at least, it's very uncommon. You almost always have a middle name. And for actually probably most of YouTube doesn't know that Brie is actually not my, uh, it's not my first name. It's my middle name. So yeah. I have a different first name and it has been a huge complication for my entire life bless my parents souls for giving me two names but it's just a little bit too complicated for me and always having to answer the phone from like banks and college stuff and like legal things is one name and then Bree is a different name so it's just been confusing my whole life and makes things hard and challenging but in europe a lot of countries don't have middle names for yeah. kids so we're gonna go that route and just one have first name, one, one first last name, name, one last name. Here in Ecuador, even they do two last names, so the the child gets the last name of the mom and the last name of the dad, so you know exactly in the tree, I guess, how it evolves. Yeah, but for us, we have the same last name now, yeah. so that would be weird to have yeah. baby Needhammer, Needhammer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so we have fine. one first name, one last name, keeping <laughs> yeah. it simple. Why I make things too complicated? Minimalist. <laughs> Based on our opinion, it's easier. Yeah. 
So great. I think so that's, yeah. that, that's I think it for today. Yeah. Now you know <laughs> all of it, all the live updates. Yes. Um, thanks so much for sticking around for the past hour, and uh, we have a live stream coming on Patreon for all the other questions that we could not answer now. So join us on Patreon, join the live stream on the 22nd and we will we have pretty much guaranteed go into all your questions that you have. Yeah. Um, all the info, all the things you mentioned in this live stream is in the description below. And we'll now wrap up and yeah. we wish you a beautiful Sunday. Have a good start to your day, rest of your day, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Thank you so much for the support, for dialing in and for all the love. We feel very honored to have brought together such a beautiful community. It's always yes. very, very special to read the comments, to read the messages and all of it. Yeah. How loving everyone is. Yeah. Also, a quick uh, update maybe about uh, community. We have our Discord server, which you can join, which is a platform to bring all of you together so you can talk to each other. It's not so much to talk to us or that we talk to you guys. It's more that you can talk to each other and share your practice, share your experiences, have questions and a lot of experienced people are there and a lot of new people are there too. So it's a great place for everyone to kind of interact and that, especially in times when you feel a little bit lonely and you were wondering if you're going, if it's only you or if, you know, if other people feel like this too because of the practice, it can sometimes lead you to those places of feeling lonely. And so it's very normal and you just join on Discord and you see other people are going through the same and it's part of your growth, it's part of your awakening process. And so just check it out and join the yeah. discussion there. And that's free to join. It's free to join, yeah. And we, and we have, have 1,500 almost yeah. people there. And we also have 25, I think, channels now. Channels of different categories of topics that you can talk about. So it's organized really well and the community there is also really amazing. and. Yeah, so please join us on Discord and we also do some behind the scenes stuff and announcements and things there as well. We drop in occasionally, although we haven't been, I at least haven't been on there in a few weeks. It's been crazy, but um, yeah, occasionally we drop in and see how people are doing and we'll reply to some things here and there, but it's mostly a space for you to connect with each other and to be um, a thriving member of the Breathe and Flow Wolf Pack. <laughs> So check it out if you haven't yet. All the links and everything is in the description below. So um, we Thanks love you. Thanks so much, guys. Yes. Have a great day. And we'll catch you next time in the next yes. video, which will drop tomorrow. And uh, you know where to find us. <laughs> Take care, guys. Lots of love.